today's job. It's kind of a special job today because we're jacking the grove up very high for the first time. We've got my custom plywood pads, wood blocks, deca pad, dica pad. She's up pretty high, perfectly level. This took us about 45 minutes to get it like this. And here's the tree. I'll show you why we're using the crane. Super nice driveway. So I didn't really wanna bring any equipment in this driveway because it's all brand new concrete. And I didn't wanna be responsible for breaking it. The tree's not even that large, but it is going over this power line. But it's a good size oak on a hill. So climbing it and roping pieces down would be difficult because you got the wires right here. So we're gonna pick pieces with the crane and set them about where the Avant is over here. Here's my nice cribbing bin that my best buddy Tom made me. I really like this. We're gonna pick pieces here, set them down here. This video isn't gonna be super detailed, but I'll try to get some maybe in cab crane footage and show you the end. Here we go. The bolts that held the counterweights to the back of the crane were still on back order. In order for us to use the crane at all, we had to carry the counterweights on a separate trailer and load the counterweights on the crane every time. Kind of frustrating considering we are in very close proximity to this tree and we don't need extra counterweights to have a better capacity rating. Little different style video today. I'm gonna be documenting everything from inside the cab. Uh, I'll show you what we got going on here. We got 156 foot of boom out, um, 47,000 pounds of counterweight. We did not put the wing weights on today. We're probably gonna be about 100 feet away from the tree. Our tip height is 161 feet. We've got these boom sections all out to 100 and second to last is 50%. Last boom section is all the way in. Going after that tree right here. We're thinking one, two, three, four cuts. Four cuts for this tree, we're thinking. Elliot's going up first to set the first slings. Our landing zone is a little complicated because we have a wire right here and another wire here. Other little trees right here, so we're gonna try and land everything right where the ball is right now. Try to get it all on video, here we go. So, what slings you got going on? So we're doing four slings. Oh, um, I wouldn't go up with the chainsaw. You're gonna be hating life. Yep, yep, you, you'll throw your rope bag down and you pull up the chainsaw. Never set slings with a chainsaw. My outrigger pressures are all at about 30, 32,000. You think we can put enough boom out? You can never have too much boom, though. So Elliot's slinging up the first piece right now. He's getting close to being done here. 56 foot radius. That's less than what I thought. I thought we were gonna be at 100 feet. So we're actually good for 15,800 pounds. The tip height, we're at 156 foot tip. The tree is probably 80 feet tall and it's up on a 20 foot hill. So the tree could be at 100 feet tall from here, huh? Yeah, so it could, it could be 90 feet tall. I think the knuckle boom crane would have struggled because we would have had the boom all the way out. I'd go higher than lower if I were you because it looks like the tips are going to be heavy. You're not going to have a whole lot of butt weight. Oh yeah. Nope, that was perfect. That was uh, exactly 3,200. We had it pre-tensioned at the perfect amount. And we're good for 15,8. Where's Spencer? You're gonna be my eyes on setting this thing down. At the full level. Now. How 
many feet do I have there, Spencer? This was a 3,200 pound piece. We just snuck it in. This is uh, number one of four cuts for this tree. Ready? Elliot's setting the slings right now. I'll turn the camera back on when he makes the cut. Elliot's just making the cut now. This one's gonna be even more fun to set down because it's nice and long. 2,000 pound piece, good for 15.8. <laughs> We're limited by our landing zone today. How's that looking, Spencer? I'll put my two-speed winch on. What do you think? Just go fast right now? <laughs> Gotta love the two-speed winch. I don't know if I forgot to tilt the camera again, but piece is on the ground put the two-speed winch on so I could sneak it through there without it blowing into the wires. Two cuts left, things are going well. Third piece is swung and Elliot is making his cut right now. Beautiful. This is too easy. Why doesn't everyone have a Grove 4100? <laughs> Huh? I got a brand new set in a cardboard box in my shop. They could be yours. put the balancer on so so take both of them off and put the red one on you're gonna need one more yellow clip too on to the fourth cut we are about to pick the trunk here pretension to 4,000 and this is 4,500 so it was pretty damn good good for good for 15.8 good for 15.8 it's hard You're having it. yeah I'll have to invite Lane and Lance soon they're always fun to hang out with too such good people Sir, I might have to take your picture with that. Perfect, huh? Don't you like those slings? We got the tree cut down safely. Maybe I'll do a little video of us taking it off the blocks. Got the job all completed here. This is where we had our outriggers. You can see we have a little bit of sand left over. We like to put sand down just in case there's any ice. It's gonna give us that extra little grip, hopefully. And then we had our little level boards. They sunk in a little bit, but not bad. This is one of those trees that it had a few things that made it a little bit worrisome because we had the power lines more wires here that manhole cover 
snowy conditions setting up on a hill but we came prepared with all the right cribbing and blocks and it went super smooth every cut came off clean as a whistle the crew did amazing we're gonna be heading out to the next job Ooh, a little slippery here this place is super cool awesome house so we're heading to one more job and then but first we have to eat lunch let's see what the guys think of how the job went do you guys mind being on youtube <laughs> I don't know, Ryan. That's. <laughs> I'm gonna need a blurred face here. <laughs> blurred face for you? <laughs> well, I've done my hair. How do you think the job went? Good. Good. Well, Spencer? Three picks. Smooth. Four picks. Oh. Took longer to set the crane up than it took to take the tree down. <laughs> yep, took longer to set the crane up than it did to take the tree down. Hello, everyone. It's Ruby. If you like this content and want to see more of it, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications when my dad makes new videos like this, please hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for all the likes and subscriptions. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!